In this video, I will show you how to convert fractions to decimals and decimals to fractions. I will be referring to heavily on a previous title named Four Ways to Write Division. Let's get started with an easy fraction, three quarters. Now you can write three quarters in this format or write three quarters in this format, three over four or three out of four. You can also write three quarters in uh, this format, but I understand most of you don't recognize this last format as a fraction, but uh, nevertheless it is, just live with it. So to convert it into decimals, I will be using a calculator and I will be uh, demonstrating how to use uh, uh, some of the special buttons on a calculator. So for a starter, to convert a, decimal, a fraction to a decimal, let's just zoom into the calculator display a little bit. That's about there. You go 3 divided by 4 equals, and there you have yourself a happy decimal. 0.75. Or you read this number either digit by digit, 0.75, or 75 hundredth and that is demonstrated on another title called mm, write actually it's read and write read and write decimals and uh, and also uh, place value in decimals it's the same one clip place value, place value in decimals because that's how that number is read 75 hundredth now let's try another fraction say uh, 71 50 second 71 50 second to make it into a decimal all you need to do is 71 over 52 equals that number it, in its decimal format is 1.365 I'm sorry, I'm skipped the 5 1.3653 sorry about that that's the decimal format for it this is an improper fraction and it's got a number greater than 1 because it is an improper, improper fraction and lastly let's look at a mixed number say uh, 3 and 13 sixteenth from a tape measure 3 and 13 sixteenth is, uh, this is how you do it 13 over 16 equals that and then you can just add the 3 to it there 3.8125 is your decimal equivalent for the fraction 3 and 13 sixteenth let me just do this last fraction again. I did 13 divided by 16 equals, I got 0 0.8125. I got all the decimal, num decimal digits for the final answer. And then I'm just adding the whole number as a whole number plus 3. Voila, 3.8125 is there. So that, those were three fractions easily converted to decimals. Now let me show you another button on a calculator that will uh, help you do this and you can even use them to add the fractions. For example, let's look at the fraction, say uh, 7 ninth, 7 ninth. You can also enter it uh, with a special button and for that we'll go uh, even closer just for this. There, on a scientific calculator you have this ABC button. This one here. A over A and then space B over C. Above it you see D over C. This means that it converts a decimal, decimal conversion. And this one is something to do with fractions. So. I'll show, you, uh, I'll show you what it does and how your calculator buttons uh, make the numbers work. So 7 over 9 is 7 and then I'm pressing this special ABC button here, that one, and it leaves the little uh, lowercase 
uh, Latin R. That's how it looks like on the display. 7 over 9 and you press equal and you have a fraction 7 over 9 entered on the display as is. To convert it into decimal go second function and on the display you got a little uh, uh, sign that says second function and you press again the same, <coughs> the same ABC button because now it's the decimal conversion that's going to be activated there. As your decimal digit it equals 0 0.7 and it's a repeating decimal. Okay and lastly I'll show you how to add two fractions with it. How about 13 uh, seventh improper fraction plus one and uh, one quarter a mixed number. Let's add an improper fraction and a mixed number on this calculator. This is how the situation works. 13 ABC button 7 plus so far I entered 13 seventh. Now I'm entering one and a quarter. One ABC button, one ABC button, four. Now I entered one and one quarter. On the calculator I'm pressing the equal sign. Let's see. There you go. That's the answer. And this is how you write. This is how you make sense out of the result. The answer is three and three twenty eight. Three and three twenty eight. That's the answer. If you want an improper fraction out of it, you press the ABC button here again. And sorry, uh, this one comes up first. If you want a decimal out of it, it's 3.1071 and the rest of the digits. You press it again. Uh, sorry, you go second function and ABC button and you're gonna get your improper fraction out of it as 87.28. Notice that I'm using uh, two ways to format fractions when the numerator and the denominator are vertically stacked and when the numerator and denominator are offset sideways a little bit. They're both fractions, okay? So this part uh, pretty much covers the uh, con converting fractions to decimals. Now the other way around. Let's make decimals Let's make fractions out of decimals. And that's a zero there. And let's zoom out a little bit. About, about like that. Okay. And let's start with my new page. Just flip it over. How you make fractions out of decimals is rather simple and it does not need a calculator. Uh, out of any decimal number, for example, 0 0.3, you can make time based fractions super easily. Remember from another title, which was the uh, this one, place value in decimals, read and write decimals in English. In that video, you can see it demonstrated that this number is either read 0 0.3 or read as 3 tenths. Listen to it 3 tenths. 3 tenths and you can format it right away as a fraction because 3 is a cardinal number cardinal, a number in a cardinal format and tenth is is a uh, number in the ordinal format it's also in plural and it's got this th in it, tenths and if you watch another title uh, titled read and write fractions in English uh, that video will also help you with this bit for example here is a two digit fraction you read it as 57 hundredths because the 57 the last digit is on the hundredth place value so it's 57 hundredths Okay. Oh, and the previous one was 3 over 10. Out of any decimal, you can, be, you can make a 10-based fraction in no time. This is 5700th. 
Let's try another one. 3,287 ten thousandth. This is how you read this decimal. So it's gonna be three thousand two hundred and eighty seven and the last digit the seven is on the ten hundred thousand ten thousandth place value so the fraction is that you can make out of it three thousand two hundred and eighty seven ten thousandth now if you want to know if indeed this is the fraction in its at its lowest term or can it be simplified? Enter it into the calculator as 3287 ABC button 10,000. Like that. And press equals. See what happens. You got the same number back. So this one cannot really be simplified any further. That's its decimal format. Second function ABC. Yep, you get the same number back. This one cannot be simplified. Let's pick another decimal number how about uh, not that one how about 3.9623 uh, 3.9623 and after this you can make a mixed number right away 3 and 9623 10,000 let's see if we can simplify this fraction in any way so enter on your calculator 3 ABC button 9623 ABC button 10,000 equals so we've got the same decimal so that's a great start let's press ABC button again it's still the same thing let's press second function and nothing changes there either some fractions though can be uh, simplified with the calculator to lowest terms. How about how about uh, 255 one hundredth, which is the same as 0 0.255? Uh, sorry, one thousandth. My bad. 255,000. Let's see what we can do about that one. Aha. Uh -huh. This can be simplified. There's your calculator. 255 one thousandth is this is the decimal format. But its fraction can be uh, the fraction can be simplified and brought to lowest term. And its lowest term is 51 over 200 because uh, uh, it's a reduction by a factor of 5 so the numerator is also being reduced by a number of 5 and 5 times 51 is 255 and 5 times 200 is 1000 so it's fairly straightforward there basically this is how to work with uh, decimals you can make 10 based fractions out of any decimal number fairly easily and then sometimes you have to reduce it to its lowest term and you can do it on a calculator like I demonstrated.